Yeah, good evening YouTube. So here's my patio light switch, just a regular 120 volt light switch in the wall. And I can turn on the lights outside if you can see that. And like I mentioned in the earlier video, I have one light switch and that turned on the lights that are right outside the patio here. I also have another set right out there. So I have two sets of lights with one switch so I can turn it off, on, I can turn that light off. See here there's the outside lights. So let me show you how I have that hooked up. Okay so that uh, outlet right there used to be an old incandescent patio light, kind of a round light with a glass cover on it. And anyway, what I did was I took out the light and I put in a single 120 volt outlet right up there. And you can see I've got a little wall transformer plugged in there. 100 milliamp, 12 volt wall transformer. And let me show you what that controls here. And so here's the little uh, relay box that I built in one of the earlier videos. So I've got my manual override switch down there where I can reach it. The 12 volt wall transformer comes in here up on the top. And then my solar power from my battery bank comes in on these two connectors through that white cable. And I just have a temporary cable here now, just some speaker wire running from the output and it goes up to a coaxial power plug you can see up there that's plugged into my strip light. And if I turn that on, see I've got light. I turn the wall switch on and off. And you can hear the relay clicking in there. You can see there's a second little wire running out here. It runs along here and I'll show you where that connects. Okay, so that uh, second wire coming off of my relay goes to this little LED light dimmer which is a wireless dimmer and so that's the power coming in. I'll be running a circuit down to the left to control my other lights and this is what allows me to control multiple lights with one switch. I have this uh, little key fob that can control that. You can turn it on and off. Okay, YouTube, I've got the rest of my circuit wired up. So I have a that white wire running out to the left from my dimmer. I flip the dimmer upside down so the input's on the right side, the output's on the left, and now I can turn on my lights. And then let me swing around here to the second string of lights. Okay, so you can see that uh, little two position banana plug bracket up there and so I have the circuit coming in from the right side is from the dimmer and then I have a wire going up over the top there that's going to be for my outside lights. I have the little loop coming down with the banana plugs and into my coax power plug and then I've got my little remote here and if I hit the button there we go we got lights and I can dim with that one. They're getting dimmer and then I can brighten them up. So there we go. I have two sets of lights on one switch. If I turn them on and then I'll turn them off at the switch here. Lights go off and it actually remembers the on off setting as well as the dim setting so I can set up the brightness that I want and then the lights just turn on and off with the switch and if I don't need the extra lights I just hit the button on the remote and those lights go off so I have this string of lights here and then I'll have a string of lights out under the edge of the patio roof which is about two feet farther out so that way I'll have lights on the inside wall of the patio and then I'll have lights on the outside wall. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how to control multiple lights with one switch and one wireless remote. Wanted to show you that in operation. Finally got it wired up. 
Yeah, so if you have any questions, put that in the comments section below. I'll try to add links to the wireless remote that I'm running. It's a 12 volt uh, single color LED remote. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. You can subscribe to my channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.